Yep. I am all out of Jaws jokes. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the unique toys, Almeric. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is. We got a nice piece of artwork here of Alberic on the front. The King of the Gods Organ! Over 37 centimeters in height. The most powerful witchcraft masters! Yay! On the top, you have the same piece of artwork. On the side, you have a picture of the alt mode. Picture of the alt mode on the bottom, you just have warning! Don't choke on this, please, don't. And on the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shot does this, that, the other, all that good stuff. And that is basically it for the packaging. And of course, included in the package, you get the obligatory third party collector's card, which is that nice, thick credit card stock. Very cool. Get that same piece of artwork there, which I do like. It's a very nice piece of artwork. Right there on the back, you have a picture of the alt mode and the tech specs, if you'd like to see that. So, yay! More cards for the pile. Woo. So, there you have that. So, moving right along here, we have Alberic, which is the second part of the Orden Combiner, or Not Abominus. And this is their homage to Terracon Ripper Snapper. And as you can see, he is a, uh, a shark monster thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a cool looking shark monster thing, though. So I'll give it credits where it's due. Um, getting close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Got some silver paint here. The red in the eyes. The teeth are painted in silver, which is very nice. And you get some black bits here and there to break things up. You get some of that dark blue. You get some purple highlights throughout. Some nice molded details. Right there. Some more of that silver right there. Silver back here on the tail. He's even got some thrusters to help propel him. But yeah. Very, very nicely done. Um, I will say, he's, he's a cool looking shark monster thing. He even has a fin and everything. It's a shark. Shark. So, yeah, um, articulation-wise, his head can move up and down. That's as far as, uh, that's as much range of movement as it has. It's that little bit right there. The mouth can fully open. That's total jaws right there. Ah! Right there. Uh, his little arms are on a ball joint. You don't get a whole lot of range of movement, but you get some wiggly-waggly movement there. You do have an elbow joint here. Back of the legs. Are ratcheted. You can do a full 360. You can go in and out that far. The knees are on a, uh, a double hinge. If you move this piece out of the way, you get this movement right here at the top of the joint, and then movement at the bottom part of the joint. So you can make use of that however you wish. And the feet can move at two points. They can move at this joint up here and at this joint on the bottom, so I have a double jointed ankle going on there. So pretty poseable for a shark monster thing. This doesn't get him to get him standing is a bit a bit of a chore because you know the majority of his mass is up front so it's sometimes it can be a little hard to kind of get him balanced. So we can stand up as you can see now that I've taken now that I've taken him out of his sweet spot here, now he doesn't want to stand. There we go. You can just have his tail resting on the ground, too. That works. So, there you go. Um, he does come with accessories. He comes with these two little double-barreled, you know, like, missile launchers here. Which are done in that dark blue plastic. Some silver details picked out. And the storage for these is, you just take them and you just plug them into either side of this top fin. Right here. You just take them push them in. And voila. Now he is armed. And the tail and the fin itself is on a swivel, so you can rotate this and you can aim these wherever you'd wish. So, there you go. Very nice. He also does come with the combined mode hand. So here is the, the left hand of Orden. 
You can see it's a nice hand. I, I really like the, uh, the design here. I like the molding on it. It looks really cool. You got some silver details picked out. And, uh, very nice. Um, you know, it has a, uh, has a swivel, which is kind of hard to use when it's not plugged in. Um, but yeah, the thumb itself is on a ball joint right here, as well as a joint right here. And each finger is on a ball joint at the base and one knuckle right here. So you can get some good posability. I like the fact that you can actually, you know, spread his fingers. I can get, get a good grasping pose out of it, which is cool. You don't get, you don't get that from a lot of combined mode hands. So I do appreciate that. So you have that. Now for comparison, we'll just bring in uh, Combiner Wars Voyager Prime, just so you can see how he scales. Right there. Just to get a sense of how big he is. So, there you have that. Here he is with his uh, partner. Not Blot. So you have the two that we have so far. Well, actually, there are already three out, but um, I haven't reviewed him yet. But there we have the two that I have done so far. And, of course, a little G1 Ripper Snapper, because he's pressure. Shark Monster thing pressures. The G1 version looks even weirder. Like, that's like, I don't even... What's going on here? That's just, yeah. <laughs> This at least looks more like something than that. Like, that doesn't even... Looks like some kind of weird... You know, fetus or so. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> Let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's... So, as usual, we'll go uh, right into combined mode, and then we'll go into robot mode. So, to go to combined mode, what you're going to do is just going to bring his head up. You're going to take... Uh, you're going to come back here. You're going to un peg the tail. See there are just two uh, posts right there that plug in back there. So you just want to bring that tail up. You're going to bring it up and just leave it up there. Leave it out of the way for now. You're going to take this whole upper assembly right here and you're going to pull it up. Just like that. And see it exposes those slots right there. You want to pull the shark head all the way back and then take the robot mode head and just flip that back. Like that. And then you want to untab the legs right here and swing them upward and then they will tab in right up here. Just bring that up, tab it in, I'll snap into place, do the same thing here, untab that, swing it up, snap that into place, right there, nice satisfying click. And then just bring the legs around, you want to take this foot and just bring it up against the shin, like that. So you basically want it in that configuration. The little shark arms just kind of want to fold up, like that. Then do the same thing over here, just bring that around, bring that foot up, just kind of angle that up. Pretty much so the bottom of the foot is, is parallel with the bottom of this waist piece here. And just fold that shark arm up like that. Now this, you just want to take the tail fin here and just fold that up and oops, sometimes it helps to just kind of get those little guns out of the way. Just fold that up like that. And that'll end up just fitting right in there and locking that in place like that. And there you're basically done. Then you want to take the bottom part here, split that, and you'll see slots on either side. You bring in your hand, just tab it in, tab it in, lock it in. Like that. Oh, you want to come up here, take this front panel, and flip that down, and then flip down the uh, connector peg, which is really, really tight. Yeah. There you go. Just bring that down, like that. And you're basically done. Now you're probably wondering, hey, is the, does this do the usual thing of the, 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 the robot mode 
uh, hips are the elbow joint? No, they're not, because the extra step here is you just take this, pull it down, like that, and booyah! You have a proper combined mode elbow joint. And that's really cool. I love that it has, you know, a dedicated piece of transformation to give the combined mode a proper elbow joint instead of just doing the robot mode hips or the elbow joint. You know, that's, that's really cool. I really, really dig that. So, there you go. There you have the arm of Orden, or not Abominus. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it looks like an arm. And again, you have your nice, very tight joint up here. And you also have a nice ratcheting elbow, as well as a swivel. And again, I can use that uh, wrist swivel, and again, all the articulation in the hand. So, very nice. It's a good looking arm. Good looking arm. Very nice looking arm. A. Okay. <laughs> so now, on to robot mode. Let's just unplug the hand. Put that off to the side. Just want to rotate this back where it was. Strain it out. Push it back up into the body. Oops. Let's make sure it's all straight. All right. Push that back up into the body like that. Now uh, the legs actually do the combiner wars trick, which is uh, kind of funny. You just want to open this panel up right here. Bring that down, and the leg will come down. Extend up, and then this tab right here will tab into the slot right there, and lock that in place. So it totally does the Combiner Wars leg transformation that we're used to. Then you just flip out his toe, come back here, you just flip down, little heel spur, and then you got that leg done. Second of all, same as the first. Open that panel up, bring that down on that double hinge, bring that up. Lock it in, flip out his toe, flip down that little heel spur, and there you go. Now we'll take this port and push that back up, close that back up, raise this up. Not you, me, that's what I'm doing. And then we're going to, you want to take this little panel here, flip that down, bring the arm down, rotate it, add to the bicep. Open this up and flip out the hand. Like that. Close that back up. Do the same thing over here. Flip that down. Bring the arm down. Rotate. Open that up. Flip out the hand. Close that back up. Then bring that back so I can flip out the head. Bring that back where it was. Rotate the head. And... I think we're done. Are we done? I think we're done. Straighten those back up. And there you have it. There you have Alberic in his robot mode. It looks good. It's it's a nice looking robot mode. Um I've I've heard people say that, you know, the robot mode looks really generic, but honestly, the Terracons were generic looking robots. I mean that's that's just the way they were designed. Um, you know, the G1 animation models, they look generic. And the G1 toys, you know, just kind of had generic robot designs. So, you know, um, I mean, I understand that the, the, the Beast Hunters designs were, were very cool and, and different, but this is not meant to homage Beast Hunters. This is meant to homage G1. So, really, this is, you know, it is what the Terracons were. So, you know. But still, it, it looks good to me. I mean, you know, generic design or not, it, it looks nice. Uh, getting close here on the head sculpt. And yeah, very nice head sculpt. Very cool. Nice paint work done. And uh, just, you know, like I said, nice details overall. I like the purple here on the chest. I mean, it's, it's a nice mold. It's a nice design as far as I'm concerned. I think it does some nice things. It's a pretty clean transformation. You know, he ends up with, you know, basically a, a shark on his back, but <laughs> I still think it looks pretty cool. Now, articulation-wise, his head is... Is it on the ball joint? It feels like it is, but then it feels like it could just be a swivel. I can't tell. I mean, 
I don't know if that's really wiggly waggly room. It might just be a swivel. You have that, and again, you have that ratcheted shoulder. You get that much outward movement. You do get a bicep swivel. You do get double jointed elbows, which is nice. You get a joint right there and a joint right there. Uh, nothing at the wrist. Uh, you do get a waist swivel. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go in and out. You do get a thigh swivel. You do get 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And his little toesies can wiggle up and down as well as the heel spur. So there you go. And of course, if you wish, you can unplug the weapons here from the fin, and you can hold them as handheld weapons, if you wish. So, there you go. Put that back down. Now, there's really nothing you can do with the hand, unfortunately. You know, uh, uh, unlike the uh, the feet that can be broken down and turned into weapons, this doesn't do anything. It's it's a hand. <laughs> I've seen people take it and, you know, wrap it around the forearm like some kind of shield, but I think that looks kind of dumb. I just leave this off to the side. It's, you know, it's a hand, and it does nothing but be a hand. So, <laughs> it doesn't really serve any purpose in robot mode, unfortunately, but that's okay, but. Still, decent looking figure. I, I do quite like it. Now for comparison. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention in the articulation. He does have ankle pivots, like breakage point levels. <laughs> breakage levels of ankle pivot there. So, yeah. Totally forgot to mention that there. So anyway, for comparison, here he is with Combiner Wars Voyager Prime. So you can see how he scales with the current Voyagers. Uh, here he is with Dragstrip. So you can see how he scales with the Deluxe. There he is with Leader Megatron. Just because. There he is. There he Megatron. There he is with his partner, not Blotz. So we can start to see how the team is shaping up. They look good together. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And of course, G1 Ripper Snapper. Oh, precious. Oh, so precious. No. Oh. Yes. G1 Transformers. <laughs> and yet we still complain about Kibble. I hate that word, but yeah, we complain about kibble, but look, look, what, what, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, as far as Albrig goes, I like him. He's a nice design. I like his alt mode. I think his robot mode, you know, works. I mean, it, it looks good to me as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, yeah, the team's shaping up uh, pretty nice as far as I'm concerned, so... There you go. If you would like any of these Orden figures from Unique Toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. So that is pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Unique Toys Alberic. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be a proud. Pull me in your face! Hey, Wave! Did you see the trailer for that new gem movie? Oh, you mean that gem movie where it looks like they took out everything that actually has to do with gem? Yeah, I can't wait to see it. It looks awesome. <sighs> what was that? No, I'm surprised you didn't notice yet. I had a moat built around our couch. Um... Why? Hmm. Well, after what we went through with those shark decons, I wanted to protect our couch. But they're sharks too. They can they can swim. Hmm. No, right. 
Well, ours is cooler because it's got freaking laser beams attached to its head. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Dr. Evil. <laughs> uh, where's Mini-Me? Hmm. Hmm. Was not expecting that.